Hello all and welcome to my latest Let's Play. Um, as promised, I'm going to show you what I've been up to this week, which is the mob trap. But first of all, I've been doing a few cosmetic changes to my mossy room. As you can see, I've been collecting a few heads. So I thought I would add them in there. I gonna put some lights down here. But I quite like this look. If I keep it and because this bit's gonna may have to change due to the location of my map trap. But anyway let's get on with it. So this is gonna be my sorting room. Although I might move it about due to locations of the map traps which I will show you now. Let's just get upstairs. So let's go outside and have a quick look. So if you look up there you can see the map trap. But the best way is to get the because it's a bit risky in the dark. Let me just deal with this guy. Uh -oh. mm, collect the resources. Yeah, so that's going to be the luck of the mob trap. So there should be four buildings similar to this. And in the middle is going to be the uh, water screw. So I'll get some water to this level up here, which I'll show you now. So, yeah. So the water will come through here and go over to there, and it will fall down the middle of there. I'll go through the sorting process when I've worked it out, but I'll be another time. But for now I'm working on these small traps. So up top we've got some hoppers temporarily. Until I get the water set up and I've seen to collect a few things. As you can see they fall and land in the all the goods land in the hoppers. So now, I don't think there's anything decent in here. Well, I did have a full armor set before, so I just recycled it for some more water screws. So basically, what it what happens is you've got these fence posts back here, and the mobs land on these fence posts. And every couple of minutes a piston pushes them over one side, allowing all the drops to fall into the water and to go into the sorting system. And the piston pushes it back. So basically it's a gravity trap as you guessed. And it goes up 30 levels. Hang on, let me uh, So basically we've got a few levels like this and some vine, tra vine traps. So that goes up about five levels. But they want to go past the 128 level due to them not spawning so far, which is at the cloud level. I might go up one or two just to test it. Grab these. Might be a bit dark a second. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we've got five levels like this. 
Oh, I still need to make more. I'm gonna. Uh, still need to make my vine traps on it. Well, let's go down there. I'll recycle these hoppers for the sorting system. And we got four buildings all together like this. So one, two, three, and this one's four. So that will be exact copy of this. And oh, let's just get out of this way. There you go. So basically I've been digging out all this area. I'm going to dig down a bit by there, and then once I've got the base down, I'll do some landscaping around this area, just to make it look all nice. I don't know whether to put grass or leave it as sand, but I have to think about that. So each building would have a water flow coming in here, which will over there and these wood blocks here and here will be scoop pumps which allows the water to one two three four five six seven so seven across and it should put all the items in oh, something far push the items into the sorting system so it's quite simple it's just a case of making a load of screw pads to get the water flow up to the slab uh, I've still got a few to make and it is about 10 or 12 I think which is quite a lot of iron but thanks to these mob traps maybe I'll get some more iron from the drops but I have to wait and see, otherwise it's going to be a lot of mining involved. So, yeah, I'm just going to do all the uh, gearboxes and access set up. And get the water flow going. And then I can test this one, but as I'm waiting for things, I can carry on building this up. So uh, it should look quite nice, I think. And just get over here and check what I've been. Yeah, right. Something dropped. I'm looking for iron. I am. Sometimes they drop off. I got a skeleton head. Anything nice? Nope. Oh well, I guess it's that low rate drop rate on the armor. But yeah, should be good. Uh, these things are dragon orbs, which I will go into the system. Now I need some soul sand to an active hopper to turn it into XP. And I planned on let's go downstairs again. Once it goes through the sorting system, I planned on getting all the XP down to say here approximately and flick a switch and all the XP will drop on you, like XP shower. And then maybe I'll over here. Uh, build a enchanting room. Well, I'll build an infernal enchanter on one side and a normal one on the other. That's if I get any scrolls for the infernal enchanter. Although well, this room might have to move over as I want to place the sort in the start of the sort room in the middle of the four towers. So I think it will have to be 
can see. Um, yeah, it's probably be behind this. So I might have to dig uh, this up again. Yeah, I should look out there. So that's what I've been up to so far. And I quite like this sand stone effect. So this area is complete now as far as I'm concerned. But as I was working on the mob uh, tower I managed to collect four stacks of mossy stone from this machine. I've got a few here I think. Well, as you can see it's working out quite nicely for me. So look. 64. I'll have to uh, <coughs> put this back into the uh, block dispensers. Yep. And i got to reset every time I come here which is annoying. I've got to create a block update. So the way to do that is get some sand or something. And that updates a block. So when I oh, I started off. There you go, that's my uh, bossy still machine working. So the plan is using the power from the mop trap. I'm going to put one of those uh, vertical windmills up there with a cost of new lightning rods and connect it to this timer and I don't have to worry about resetting this every time so yeah I've got plenty in there and that's where people put like this so yeah have been good so far and the drop rate with four towers should be quite uh, good so another thing I'm going to have to add is a sugar cane no actually I don't need to add a sugar cane because I've got it in my wheat farm building all the way back at base so I have to work on it as well So I'm just going to head back to base now and collect some resources. And we'll have a little look at the mob trap from the top of the building. Okay, we just got back to base now and wait for the chunks to load set. Because they always seem to uh, go a bit funny. There you go. And over here I've added, I've been messing with a vine uh, creator. But basically that just gets cut by the saw when it grows. But that's just an experiment. I mean you want to create a separate room for this. So I have a row of saws and vines in front. Uh, have all the vine traps I need for any future mob traps or whatever. So let's go upstairs and have a look at the view. Taking all the trunk bits, which is very annoying. But one thing I've noticed nearly had a major fire in my house. Look up here, you notice bits missing. Well, for some re reason, 
fire I got up there. I don't know why, this is... No. There's nowhere near the fire down here, so... I don't think it was any of it at all. Or maybe it was a fire. So I have to be more careful. I don't know what to do about that. Probably get rid of this. And just add it down to the bottom there. And I can collect all the gearboxes for this and the axles. Just use it down to the bottom fan and make an extra room or two. Because of course the solar making down there is pretty slow, so I need to improve on that. So let's go upstairs and have a look around. Okay, yeah. <laughs> for a second I thought that uh, we're building it to come apart. Good night time, so let's have a quick look. I don't know if you can see it from here. Okay, I went on top of the wheat farm instead, as I wasn't quite close enough. But there it is, my mob trap from a distance. I think it looks quite nice actually, and four of them buildings look even nicer. Like I said, originally I was going to place it over there. But I think it looks a lot nicer over there. So I'll have to put some method of stopping the mob spawning from around the base of the structure. So I'll probably put a load of half slabs, either dirt or something, I'm not quite sure yet. Probably do some yeah, I could do some half sandstones. Yeah, and that would probably look uh, okay. Don't know, uh, tell me what you think in the comments and I'll have a look at it. So, once this mob trap is built, I'm gonna do uh, the cow farm, but that won't be for a few episodes, but for now I'm going to work on this and carry on a little bit with the sweet farm as usual and then eventually we'll get around to that cow farm but for now I'm just using my temporary cow farm down below as I just need to, uh, to re-smelt my mat up and so on that one again they seem to be collecting a lot of uh, cobblestone as you can see which I need for the mob trap so that's today's episode and I will see you next episode where I will have done a bit more on my mob trap and hope you enjoyed today's episode and please leave any comments below see you soon